It's time for another edition of Live from Studio M on 105.5 Triple M. I'm your host, Jonathan Sutton. Today, we meet with a band that has been making music for quite a few years. Their friendly sound makes you a fan of the band almost instantly. We'll talk to them about getting burned out on the road, how a significant other helped form the band in one way or another, and how one member will never, ever lose his first guitar, ever. We'll tell you that story. But first, let's hear a song from Good Old War, live from Studio M. Uh, 
so let's start off with uh, that last song you did, and I read on the internet, so it's got to be true. That was that song something like the record company was kind of looking for a certain kind of sound, and you were like, "Tell us what you want." Is that made up? Did I just someone just add that randomly on Wikipedia? Or? That's sort of how it was going. It was, okay. it was like a bunch of people just saying, "Keep writing more, keep writing more." It's like we've written fifty songs. What do you want me to write? Just some of them. That's kind of where it came from. That's amazing. It's like you know, I love to do this, and why does it feel weird right now? You know. Yeah. But then it ended up being a really great song, so I was like, "Thanks, guys." For <laughs> asking me to write yeah, that's that. the irony of us. Being like, yeah. <laughs> what do you want? They're like that. That's perfect. <laughs> as far as the songwriting goes. Everybody's writing, or yeah, I, yeah. We, we write together. We we've written in every combination, really. Like everybody writing separately, everybody writing together, everybody yeah, in com different combinations. The three of us, or two of us, or whatever. Um, yeah, pretty much any way we can. Right. Well, and I feel like the writing. A lot of the artists that we have that come through, it's different stories. Some say, for me to write, I need to go in a room and be alone, and others say, when I'm on the road, I write a lot, or really drunk or whatever. So do you all, is it all just mash? It seems like that would, you would maybe have different styles. We all have different styles, yeah. And I think it's, I think it's different all the time for each of us too. Yeah. So like, you know, if we, uh, what I like to do is I like to sit down and just try to write something all the time. And yeah. You know, every day or something and then if, if it's bad, I won't use it. But you try to write a song every Yeah, day, you know, and. Yeah. and it's basically just keep your instrument in your hands. And yeah. Try to come up with and also your guitar too. Hey everyone! Sorry. Nice. Here all week. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, no, but Jerry Seinfeld always says every day he tries to write jokes, and that's his job. So same kind of thing for you. Yeah. Exactly. You're writing, so. Especially when we're writing, you know, writing a record, it's like, you know, let's do it every day. Let's not just wait for, you know, some sort of magical inspiration. It's like sit down with an instrument or, you know, with a piece of paper and a pencil and write something. And, See what happens. Yeah. Who's the negative Manny guy who's like, that song was bad? Or do you all? That has I think to be we're always like, that's so awesome, and then we give it to our managers. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Three positive seats. No, suits. I mean, it happens. Everybody has like different tastes. So, um, you know, a song he might love, I might be like, I think it needs a little bit of work or whatever. And we'll just work on it until we're all happy with it. You know? cool. We cheerlead each other's songs a lot of the time, too. Yeah. Nice. Sometimes, like Keith will be writing something, I'll be like, I love that. And I'll be like, I don't know about it right now, you know? We kind of, I'll kind of just keep pushing that song. Or, or we do that for each other. We need more band infighting. Doesn't seem yeah. like you all just kind of get along. I'm very peaceful people. <laughs> it's nice. All right, well, let's, with good old war, it's kind of ironic. I know. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's get another song. Yeah. Good old war, what are you going to do for us? We're going to do a song called Small World. It's live from Studio One. Thank you. 
But it's just you and it's just you and me. gravitate towards that? Do you like it or do you hate that stuff? Or <laughs> no, we like it, you know. It's it's good music and I feel like it's part of it's part of each one of us, you know, it's something that we share together. And I think at some point though, you know, when we were teenagers we started going like, I just like punk rock or whatever. Right. I don't want to listen to that kind of stuff. And then later on we were like, we're back to like yeah, everything. <laughs> so was there a time when you were practicing in your parents' basements that it was like punk rock time and they were all just like, oh, I don't know. Oh, it's like our whole lives. Yeah, I'm sorry, this man. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. They were finally like, oh my god, I can listen to this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys have done a lot of traveling mm -hmm. over the years, haven't you? have been a lot of road work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that gets pretty tiring. Has there been, like, the most heinous gig that comes to mind where there'll be, you know, I hear these stories that we played in a barn and we thought we were all going to be murdered or we played <laughs> at someone's funeral or, you know. Is there, is there something I probably should have asked you beforehand to, um, instead of putting you on the spot, yeah. but is there something we played just to the sound guy? Well, yeah, that's, I mean, I feel like for us it would be a great like, show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can really, like, we it. kind of just enjoy playing. I mean, I, we really like playing, you know, even, even when we're like Exo like right now, for instance, we just got here from Cleveland, and we drove, or you know, as long as we could, and we got out of the van. But like, this is what we want to be doing, so it's really hard to complain about getting to do what you always wanted to do, even if it's the two people. Okay. Is the record company keeping you hostage? Just <laughs> really honest, to say something like that. That's really positive, though. I, that's you know, you're it's right. It's weird though because it is crazy. Um, there was this one show, and there was like dogs running around. There's a mattress, dirty mattress. Oh yeah. <laughs> War in front of us playing. We just like played for like ten people. They all didn't care at all, and it turned out like they started to like us through the set, and then it was like actually a really fun show. We had a great time. Mm -hmm. I have no like, idea where they brought the crowd in. <laughs> I don't think they were just like local yokels. You know? <laughs> and there were mat dirty mattresses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Horrible. It was right in the middle of the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Was this in an inside place or outside? It was inside. It was falling apart, but it was inside. <laughs> the dogs when you're outside? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, and you won them over after. Yeah, and it was like really fun. Yeah, yeah they so. even bought us pizza. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know we were getting pizza. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> so now, Tim, you you were gone for a while, right? I was. And, and now you're back. So what, did, did he say, let me ask that first, did he say, like, I'll be right back? And then he was gone for a long time? Or what, what happened? I want to hear the third version, then we can hear your version. So cover your ears, Tim. <laughs> He just ever. called me up and he said, "Listen, I I have to go to Atlanta because he was he found out that he was going to have a baby, mm -hmm. and he's which is amazing for a man to do. Yeah, <laughs> good job, yeah. Yeah. He was a man for so many reasons. Yeah, um, yeah so um, he just wanted to go get that together, and I wasn't going to stop him. I sure. wanted him to stay, but we've been buddies since middle school, so I I want him to do what he wants to do. I'm not going to." Hold him back, and he went and did that, and kind of, you know, they had the baby, and he was working down there and hanging out, and then you realize they cry all night. <laughs> uh, I gotta get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the itch came back. Yeah. yeah no, so. I was just like, um, I just 
you know, we weren't making much money at the time. Like, we were kind of just writing. And I was starting to really freak out about having a baby. Her family, uh, Hannah's family, is from Atlanta. Her dad was really sick. Her mom was really sick. It was very stressful. Sure. So I was like, you know what, guys? Sorry. I got to go. Were, were you thinking he was gone forever? That was yeah. it? Kind of? Yeah, that was, that was what we expected. Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't expect that. But. <laughs> So, you know, after a while, like, everything kind of happened, and everything was cool, and I was working in the kitchen, and I was like, all right, well, now that the dust has settled, and, you know, I'm less freaked out, and I, I'm starting to really hate working in this kitchen, like, so these guys want to come back. So right. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what suck. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, audience. <laughs> so, we just never, we never planned on playing a show without him. We never really had to, because we were making a record the whole yeah. time. So you took on a hiatus, made a new album. I need to handle it. Right. Yeah. And you got out of having to do that. Um, yeah, I told him. I told him straight up, I'm gonna keep this going. So, yeah. um, if you do decide you want to come back, you can. I wasn't a part of any of these conversations. <laughs> <laughs> Did you even notice he was gone? Yeah, I, don't think he, like, I wasn't even there. Oh, no, nice. All right, uh, let's hear another song. <laughs> Good old boy, hi from Studio M. On that note. <laughs> Yeah. 
So are you crazy sports Philly guys? Like, or not? Or are you guys not? Eagles fans. Eagles fans. Eagle fan musician. So you're not throwing batteries? How they always tell those stories about the world. <laughs> Philadelphia fans are. Okay, just checking. Because it's Packer country here, so I just was curious. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah we, we're not, we're not really competition for you guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> Scared of those guys. So, yeah, good pandering to the crowd. Well done. Uh, so, Keith, we said about the name earlier, but is it true your wife came up with the idea of using parts of your names? Yeah. Okay. She, called, she called us up and she's like, what do you think about good old war? I was like, where did you even come up with that? What is that? And she explained it. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was, that's a great name. And I brought it up to these guys, and we were they were all into it. Because we were trying to do, like, Crosby, Stills, Nash kind of thing, or, like, Simon Garfunkel, but Goodwin, Arnold, and Schwartz just didn't sound cool. <laughs> no, it does sound kind of like a, a law firm or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Right? A bad law. <laughs> like the one that they on TV. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so were there any other, like, random names that you had come up with? Before or not really, you're kind of stuck. Not really. I don't think the Arn Warren win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Arnold or something. Yeah. Uh, I usually like to ask questions that I know the answer to, but I, your shirt, Keith. Yeah. I'm just, should I know who that is on your shirt? Yes. I, so show me back, Keith. He'll know us. Does everybody else know who that is already? Yes. Oh, Biggie. <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, it's Biggie. Okay. It's Biggie. Is that a? It's a. It's about a hundred Biggies. <laughs> right. Little Biggies. Little. Little. It's Little Biggies fun. Yeah. So did you, is, is that kind of an endorsement then, or just it was a cool shirt, or? I, I'm a big Biggie Smalls fan. <laughs> I just wanted to hear you say it. <laughs> so cool. And I saw it, and I was like, I have to have that shirt, because there's a hundred Little Biggies on it. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so we said, you. yes, I'm sorry. Was there more Biggie talk? You can. No, I just said thank you. Okay. So, at the beginning I was talking about how Dan will never ever lose his first guitar. Oh, yeah. And again, this works well for radio, but it's not around his neck right now. No, I show everybody his first guitar. Is, now it's getting weird for radio listeners. He's taking off his I have a, shirt. Since uh, I can't take it on the road anymore because it looks like this, it's all destroyed. I've had it since I was like eight years old. He, he has a tattooed on his arm oh, for tattoos. <laughs> Right. It's, uh, my, my aunt got it brand new in 1964, and so she gave it to me. It was my first guitar. I've had it my whole life. She took it camping. You know, she destroyed it, and then I destroyed it. Right. And now it's pretty much unplayable. But so does it, it only comes with you in spirit as a yeah. tattoo? Well, it looks so weird when I'm playing it because you can see it on my arm, and then you can see the guitar. So. <laughs> it's just kind of a freaky thing. It would be like if Biggie Smalls got that shirt tattooed on his yeah, exactly, chest, and then exactly. it was kind of like, it would be that same kind of thing. I would think that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like all things Biggie. <laughs> so, who did the tattoo for you, Keith or Tim? Who uh, Tim did, did it. Tim did it. He's, he's really, he's what? stick and poke. Yeah. yeah. No, I, no, I went to a guy, there's a guy in Philly who's real famous, actually did a few tattoos for Tim, too. Okay, sorry Tim, I didn't get into your tattoos. Is there anyone you want to share? <laughs> I knew about the Dan tattoo. Is there anything cool no. that you want to show us? Trent Stamper? My, my baby's name on my, my hand. He's been tattooing himself on his hands. <laughs> With a needle and ink. For real? Yeah. yeah. I can't see your baby's name. This is Billy. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's cool. It's tribute. <laughs> Keith? I just got a tattoo of Mickey Mouse. <laughs> For real, you know. For real. Yeah. <laughs> Just so that my kids could be like, hey, Mickey, it's Mickey. He's kidding right now, yeah. No, he's dead serious. It's probably the biggest tattoo. Let's yeah. See it. And Where is it? It's right It's right here somewhere. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh, it's yeah, like there the it is. world's yeah. weirdest radio show. Mickey Mouse on a go kart. It has my kid's name. I just want it's I all, just. It's all visual jokes. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Both of my boys' names on it, and I just wanted to, like, document that this that moment in time, this moment in time. I just got it. And um, they're really into Mickey Mouse these days. So. That's cool. And I knew they would love it when I came home. So. Right. When they're 20 and 23, they might not they're think not this is cool. But, yeah. <laughs> but I don't care. It's on my back. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you guys have kids, Dan. Um, I do not have kids. We're waiting. Are your parents nagging you about that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm simply not ready. Uh, but the That's more they nag, the more you don't want to do it, right? <laughs> That's usually how that goes. Okay. 
I do believe we have time for one more song. Thank God, right? Yeah. Let's do the yeah. DJ <laughs> question. Why does this play some free music? We'll that entire section out. <laughs> <laughs> it's Good Old War live from Studio M. Darker the night, the brighter the stars Everything's fun to a young heart When you find out what your heart used to be It's gonna feel like you've been dreaming Love, if you want the truth, anything's possible you can walk up on the moon, or you can watch it grow. It's never in the stars, it's in your heart. Yeah, you'll be kicked around, but get up anyway. You'll be broken into better shape. Broken into better shape. I was one more mistake.
after all that we've been through Don't forget Check out this new album, and when they come back, see them at the Majestic. <laughs> 